it's been the same sort of tactics. It's been very negative. Uh, I think it's been now for about 18 months where you know as well as anybody, Ali, as a striker, if you're 50 yards away from the goal, you're, you're never going to score goals. You're never going to get that yeah. chance. We've got Wilson up front who can cause problems. I think it's a mindset. It's a mindset of instead of being Newcastle, and I think of Newcastle being ambitious, they want to go forward, they want to win games. Steve's going into games, and I'm not just now in the last six games, I'm talking about all season and last season. It's about not getting beat. And I think that yeah. sets a tone in the game. You're playing against Sheffield United yesterday that haven't won a game. You know they're going to be petrified. They're going to be nervous. We let them get into the game. We let them get hold of the ball. We let them have some tempo. And then forget about the red card. I mean, that sort of changed the game slightly. But even before that, the tone of the game was already set. And even, Ali, when he gets interviewed afterwards, Steve, he's supposed to be a Geordie from that area. When he wins a game, there's no passion. You know, I remember Sir Bobby Robson, he'd be smiling from ear to ear and Kevin yeah. Keegan. I used to walk into St. James's Park thinking, how lucky am I? How lucky am I that I'm playing for this football club? I don't see that. I don't see that from the staff. I don't see it from Steve. And I feel for the players because I think there's enough quality to be playing a lot better and attractive football and winning more games than what we're doing at the moment. I think it's easy to raise your game against Liverpool, Man City. They're the games that you want to play against. It's when you have to go against teams, as I said, that are there to be beaten. And I want, you know, when we used to play, which is many, many years ago, we didn't really care who we played because I'd give it to Ginola or Ferdinand or Esprit or whoever. We had obviously talented players. We haven't got yeah. them now. I understand that, Ali. But what I'm saying, going into games, we seem to go against lesser teams, let them have the ball, let them have the momentum, let them set the tone of the game. This has been a long time coming. And as I said, no one looks like, even when they win a game, they're actually enjoying it, which is such a strange thing to say. Because I know yeah. Steve, and I've got a lot of respect for him, Ali. You know, we've played against him. He's a yep. good football guy, but it's just not, I don't see him enjoying being a manager of Newcastle Football Club. And particularly what's surprising, he's a Geordie himself. So he should mm. understand that more than anybody. It's a mindset that they go into games and just thinking we're going to get five behind the ball. We're going to try and gain, draw this game out. And if we can nick a result from a set piece or we get a penalty, all, all well and good. <clears throat> I mean, I look at what, you know, Steven Gerrard has done to Glasgow Rangers. He's gone in there and grabbed that club around the scuff and OK, he might have had a bit more money than other people, but he's got hold of that club and took it forward. And someone needs to do that with Newcastle. Now, whether that's Steve or whether that's uh, the ownership or whatever needs to do, you should enjoy being in that football club, be it playing in that city, like a Leeds, like a, a new club, any football club in general. But I'm saying you, they don't look like they're enjoying it. There's no ambitions in the players. The players look like, could you imagine going out and saying, right, when they get the ball, we're going to get 11 behind the ball in our own, in our own maybe third of the field. And then we're going to try and get forward and score a goal. It's not going to happen. And that's what's demoralising for me as an ex-player, captain, whatever you want to call it, or just a spectator. It's not enjoyable to watch. It's not fun to watch, to go out there. And I'm sure it can't be fun to play. Ali's right. There has been glimpses. And when you had them new signings at the start of the season, you think, go on, boys, let's, let's have a go. That, you, know, you beat West Ham, you're looking good. And then slowly, slowly, it turns back round again. And it's negative and it's boring. It just drains you in the end because mm. you can't see a light at the end of the tunnel. It's like this bloody pandemic. It just keeps drawing you out, drawing you out. And it's, mm. it's very, very difficult for a club that wants to be successful, that wants to have uh, players. You know, listen, I never won every game I played at Newcastle, but I had a bloody good go and we'll try and mm. win it. And at the moment, we don't see that. I've been in the game long enough that, to know how hard it is and what you're going to try and do. But you're right. There is a time when you think, What's best for the football club? What do we need to do? And if you keep looking in a relegation battle and you get drawn into it, we all thought she you know, Sheffield United, West Brom, uh, Brighton will probably get dragged into it as well. There's a, and West, as I said, West Brom and Albion. You don't want to be dragged into that. And you can't be, what hurts me more than anything, we're talking about Newcastle being in a relegation battle rather than mm -hmm. challenging. Why can't you do what maybe Wolves have done, what Leicester have done? I'm not even argue, asking for what Liverpool and Man City uh, have done and Everton you know that's what we should be looking at but when your coach comes out a few weeks ago and says my my brief is just to keep us in the Premier League I would want more from that I would want to go into my job every day thinking I don't just want to survive I want to thrive I want to do well I want people that want to be ambitious and it's not it's not there um, and whether it's it's joining for Steve on the sideline and as I said there's no real and he was a fighter he was a winner he was a great captain and leader I don't see that at the moment. Maybe it's his backroom staff. Ali, I don't know what it is. I mean, you look at him and think, go, go and enjoy it. If you're going to go down, 
go, go, go down all guns blazing, not thinking, well, let someone make a decision and we've, we've tried a different system. And it's just demoralising for, for all of us at, the, at, at uh, Newcastle.